Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to do a really beautiful and a very colorful, fresh, summery makeup look with a bright hot pink eye. I have been seeing around pictures of really beautiful hot pink eyeshadows going around on the internet, and I really wanted to jump, just jump on the train and do a really beautiful hot pink eye look. So today, I'm going to do just that with you guys today. Also, today I'm supposed to announce the winner of my last giveaway. But since I'm pre-filming this video, I'll just insert a clip at the end of uh, this video um, announcing the winner of the giveaway also to all of those who did, who did not win this giveaway please do not be disheartened because i will be announcing new giveaways on the last saturday of every month now on so just wait for my um, upcoming giveaway and all the best to everybody who participated in this giveaway and i would love for you guys to participate in my next giveaway as well and congratulations to the winner um, also if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already please do and like and share my video and yeah let's get started with today's video now i'm going to be playing with some brighter eyeshadows today so i'm going to do my eyes first and first of all i'm going to prep my eyes using my cover fx power play concealer i'm going to add just a tiny bit of it on my eyelids and the inner part of my eye where i have the most darkness and i'm going to just blend it out using my beauty sponge it will give you a nice base and a evened out base for the application of the eyeshadows and i'm going to set the concealer with my cover fix matte setting powder i'm going to take just a tiny bit of it and i'm going to apply it with the same beauty sponge to set the concealer on the eyelids For my eyeshadows today, I'm going to use my Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is a beautiful colorful palette. I believe it was a limited edition one so you might not get this on her um, website now. But I did not have such beautiful hot pink shades in any other of my palettes. When I thought of doing a hot pink eyeshadow look, this is the palette that came to my mind. Now first I'm going to take this beautiful fuchsia hot pink shade and i'm going to apply it all over the eyelids it is a beautiful hot pink shade and i love 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 this shade i'm going to apply it all over my eyelids up to the crease now this palette is a really nice and a very beautiful colorful palette but i am seeing a lot of kickback on the eyeshadows they are super super powdery but they have some really nice pigmentation the uh, eyeshadows are blending out so seamlessly and they are giving such beautiful colors on the eyes then with a fluffier blending brush i'm going to take this beautiful light mauvey pink shade and i'm going to just blend it out in the crease i'm taking a very small amount of it i'm not taking too much just very little and I'm going to just run it all over the crease. And then with the same brush I'm going to deepen the crease a tad bit more and I'm going to add this really beautiful warm toned um, brown very 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 lightly in the crease to add that beautiful gradient to the eye look. Next, I'm going to take a tad bit of this deeper pink and I'm going to use it on the outer edges just to deepen them a tad bit. Not too much of it, just a tiny, tiny bit in the outer edges. And I'm also going to just stick it at the outer edge to give it a nice, smoked out kind of a look. I think yeah that is it with the eyes and before moving on with the face makeup I'm going to take a clean wet wipe to wipe off any fallout from the eyeshadow and also to uh, just sharpen up the outer edges of the eyeshadow now moving on to the face makeup I'm going to I'm going to first color correct on my under eye and for that I'm taking my cover effects correct click orange corrector and with my finger I'm going to apply it on my under eyes and around my mouth area where I have the most darkness and pigmentation. For 
for the foundation today, I'm going to use my Givenchy Tint Couture Foundation with SPF 20. I'm going to take out just two pumps of it on three pumps of this on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply it all over the face with my finger first and then just blend it out using my beauty sponge. Now this is a beautiful lightweight foundation. It gives you such a beautiful satin finish to the face. It is super 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 lightweight on the face. You do not even feel it on the skin. It is just like your skin but better and it will give you a nice medium coverage and it lasts phenomenally throughout the day you can see it gives such a beautiful skin like finish it gives you a nice medium coverage it is not a super sheer foundation and not a super super full coverage as well now this is a bit more of a pricey foundation but if you are down to um, splurging on a good foundation that will you know look just like your skin but better this is a really good foundation for that now for the concealer I'm going back in with my cover FX power play concealer I'm going to apply it on my under eyes and on the center of my face to conceal and highlight these areas now you have seen me use this concealer on my channel a lot of times before this is one of my absolute favorite concealers it gives such a beautiful almost a fuller coverage while still being super 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 lightweight and really hydrating as well it is not a super drying kind of a concealer it does not dry out your under eyes or look cakey or patchy it looks absolutely stunning and it will last you beautifully throughout the day To set the concealer, I'm going back in with my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I'm using it with the same beauty sponge just to set the concealer on my under eyes and the center of the face. I'm not going to set the rest of my face with it because I want my base to be really nice and natural looking. Before moving on with the rest of my makeup, I'm going to quickly go ahead and clean my brows off the camera and I'm back. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes first before moving on with the rest of my face. And first of all, I'm going to just line my waterline and for that I'm taking my MAC PowerPoint Eye Pencil in the shade Engraved. And I'm using it to line my waterline with this. Then to blend it out, I'm going back in with the same um, Kylie Cosmetics palette and I'm using the same um, hot pink shade uh, and the darker pink shade on my lower waterline to smudge out the kajal. And I'm going to finish off the eye look with a good coating of mascara and for that I'm taking my MAC in Extreme Dimension mascara today and I'm going to just load up my eyelashes with this mascara i'm going to add two to three very generous coats of this mascara onto my lashes because since this is a more dramatic colorful makeup look i really want to have some really nice and dramatic eyelashes as well and this mascara is a beautiful dramatic mascara it will give you such a nice length and volume and it lasts Stunningly throughout the day, it will not smudge, it will not transfer onto the under eyes, and it also gives you that beautiful fluttery eyelash look. It separates your eyelashes so beautifully and gives you a really nice and a fluttery look to the eyelashes. I'm also going to add a tiny, tiny amount of it on my lower lashes. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face makeup. I'm going to first bronze up my face and for that I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer and I have it in the shade Cappuccino. 
now this shade is a tad bit too dark for me so i usually prefer my stippling brush with this i'm taking very small amount of it and i'm going really lightly with this bronzer in the areas where i usually bronze that is on the hollows of my cheeks the temples of my forehead along the jawline and on the sides of the nose now if you pick up a darker shade of bronzer and uh, it does not suit you too much always 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 take a more precise brush than a more fluffy brush because with a fluffy brush your bronzer will go everywhere and if the shade does not match you it will look really bad and muddy on the face and it has given me such a beautiful and a very nice and a natural looking bronze to the face and it makes you look really nice and just like you've been sun kissed Next up for the blush, I have I'm using my Bobbi Brown powder blush in the shade Clementine. Now it's a really beautiful, bright, and a very fresh pink. And I'm going to apply it on the apples of the cheeks, drag it backwards, and swipe it across my nose and my chin. Just the usual for a very beautiful and a very fresh pop of color on the face. It's a really nice and a very fresh looking blush and it's a matte blush. It does not have any kind of a glitter or a shimmer, but still it does not look too flat on the face. It gives you a beautiful flush of color and it also looks really nice and natural on the face. And for the highlighter also from Bobbi Brown, I'm taking their Shimmer Brick Compact in the shade Pink Quartz. And uh, it's a beautiful pinky toned highlighter but does not look too pink on the face. It looks more like a champagne gold with a hint of pink. Now applying it on all the high points of my face. To give it a beautiful and very nice glowing from within kind of a glow. And with a more precise eyeshadow brush, I'm also going to apply it on my brow bone in a corner of my eye and with a cupid's bow. Now lastly coming on to the lips, I wanted to keep my lips really nice and neutral and also glossy because the rest of my makeup is mostly matte. For that, I'm going to first line my lips using my... Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat uh, Lip Liner in grey shade Iconic Nude. I'm going to just line my lips with it and also fill in my lips with this. It's a really beautiful neutral pinky kind of a nude lip, uh, lip color and the formula on this is really nice and very creamy. It just glides onto your lips. of that i'm using my mark jacobs enamored high shine lip lacquer in the shade ribble ribble now mark jacobs is not available in india yet but i really hope it becomes available soon and the lip gloss formula from mark jacobs is a really really famous and one of my favorite lip gloss formulas they make your lips look so nice and juicy and shiny while still being super 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 lightweight on the lips it is not super goopy or you know um it does not make your lips stick together it looks and feels really nice and very 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 comfortable on the lips last but not the least i'm going to just melt in all the makeup and for that i'm using my flower beauty seal the dehydrating setting spray i'm going to just spritz my face with this and yeah well guys that is it this is the final finished makeup look i am really loving how this makeup look has turned out looks so nice and fresh and very colorful dramatic yet super 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 wearable i love the eyeshadows i love the whole face and it looks really nice and very girly and very chic you can definitely pair it with an indian outfit or a western outfit and it will look just phenomenal on each and every one of you guys uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos. If you do, please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel. Also guys, please stay tuned for the announcement of the winner of the giveaway. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. And hi guys, it's time for the announcement of the winner of my giveaway. 
and the winner of this giveaway is Swati Johar. She goes by the name of Munchkin Anaisha on Instagram. Um, congratulations, Swati, and to all of you who participated and did not win this time, please, please, please do not be disheartened. I will be announcing a new giveaway two weeks from now, that is, I believe, on 26th of June, that is the last Saturday of June. And uh, as I said before, I'm going to announce new giveaways on every last Saturday of every month now on. So please guys just stay tuned and continue to support me and love my channel. And yeah, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. And my YouTube journey wouldn't have been possible without any of you guys. So thank you very much for supporting me and please keep on supporting me and loving my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.